I can show to be used at a later undetermined date. So we will not call it for sure 28. We will call it a undetermined number. Tiffany and LaFabian. Mm -hmm. And this is Confessions. Brian T. And five, four. Be helpful if it works. Peace, everybody. Confession. Peace, everybody. Confession. Peace, everybody. Confession. You are listening to Confessions with Brian T. Bethel on 102 Jam. And we are back, everybody. What's happening? <laughs> so, guess who I got back to come back? You know what I'm saying? Back to the studio for another portion of what we originally talked about with them. You know what I'm saying? I had to drag them back to the studio <laughs> again, y'all. So, uh, please, uh, we, we are going to just welcome back Miss Tiffany and the Fabian Smith, who we'll be con uh, speaking with very, very shortly. So just stay tuned. We'll be right back. Just a few minutes again with Confessions with Brian T. Bethia on WJHM102Jams.com. Hey, guys. This is TC1. And when I stay in Orlando, I like huh? to stay at the Quality Suites over on yeah. International Drive. They're sure, amazing sure. property. <laughs> Simple <laughs> That's the beauty of pre-recording. <laughs> We doing this again live, y'all. Okay, try that. Take two. Take two. <laughs> Peace, everybody. Confession. Peace, everybody. Confession. Peace, everybody. Confession. You are listening to Confessions with Brian T. Bethel on One Hundred Two Jam. Hey, we are back again, y'all, with another episode of Confessions with Brian T. Bethia on WJHM102Jams.com. You will never guess who I got to be dragged back into the studio again to continue the conversation that we were talking about before. Uh, listen, y'all, we're going to be real, real brief. We got to go to commercial break in just a second, but we will be right back again with uh, Tiffany, Ms. Nail Angel Smith, and uh, her husband, LaFabian Smith. So stay tuned. Don't touch that dial. We're going to commercial. We'll be right back with WJHM102Jams.com with confessions, y'all. We'll be back in a few. Peace. Hey guys, this is TC1, and when I stay in Orlando, I like to stay at the Quality Suites over on International Drive. They are amazing properties, simple rooms in an all-suite hotel with outdoor pool, a restaurant, plus free Wi-Fi and a shuttle. Guys, give them a call at 407-363-0332. They're located at 7400 Canada Ave, Orlando, Florida, 32819. All you dolls out there, this is me, Sizzle. 2019 flew by and my friend still did not have the body she wanted. Then I discovered a solution. The Cosmetic Surgery Place. Yes, Cosmetic Surgery. Don't spend another minute miserable. Call 407-636-5000. She did. Now my friend is all of that and then some. Be one of the next seven callers to receive your breast surgery. Free with a tummy tuck. Yes, free. Call now at 407-636-5000. This is Aretha Simons. When I'm driving, I'm listening to Confessions with Brian T. Bethier on 102 Jams. 
Are you frustrated with your computer? Tired of waiting for the computer to let you get your work done? Having an IT professional available when you need him can be invaluable to your business. With a Your Computer Solutions monthly service plan, you can enjoy error-free computing and get your tasks done when you want them done. Got a virus or malware warning? Call YCS and let them remotely solve the issue for you. Computer running slow? Give YCS a call and they will remotely fix it. When? Well, right away. On average, our clients are back up and running within 10 minutes of their call. If you want your computer to run smoothly month after month, just get the Your Computer Solutions monthly service plan. Your Computer Solutions is there when you need them. Call us today at 407-826-0810. I repeat, 407-826-0810. Emergency repair when you need it. Call us, 407-826-0810. And welcome y'all back to Confessions with Brian T. Bethia on WJHM102Jams.com. Again, as I stated before, man, I had to drag my peoples back into the back into the studio so we can do a little bit something shop more with them. You know what I'm saying? So without further ado, we have brought back the nail angel herself, Tiffany Miss Nail Angel Woo! Smith, along with her husband, LaFamian Smith. Now, listen, man. Last time you was on the show, we had you in the middle doing a little something, something that we had to cut you short. <laughs> so, to, so, so to make it right and make it up to you, do you have another poem you can hit us with? You know what I'm saying? I, you know. Sure, sure. Most definitely. Um, let me see here. Actually, it's a piece that I did uh, recently. Um, okay, okay. It's, it's, it's a little bit on the serious note. Um, I had found out some, uh, I just was doing some research last week um, about deaths within the black community. Right. Um, and then kind of seeing how they translated from deaths back in the past. Right. Um, I found out that, I was reading this book, and I think I showed it to you, B, last time you was, you know, you was, you was talking at the house. And um, it was a, it's a book called Without Sanctuary. Mm -hmm. And it has a whole lot of, it has a whole lot of information in about when people was getting lynched back in it, back during slavery. I times. remember that book. And uh, so I found out that I think between the, the years of 1881 to 1960 something, 1968 I believe, there was 4,742 lynchings. But fast forward to 1980, from 1980 to 2015-16, there's been 260,000 deaths within the black community. So I was trying to translate it. I was like, okay. Now, granted, I know that documentation back then was not... Not the best. It was not it the was best. It was not the best, you know as, as we know in, the, in case in point. Exactly. Uh, from what I know, uh, a lot of our ancestors, which is hard for us as um, b black people to trace our history back um, in terms of who was what and what our names were back in the day and whatnot, because um, the birth certificates specifically exactly. were so messed up like my grandmother found out that her birthday was actually two days prior to when she thought it was originally wow. because wow. With, with black people there, yeah. birth records were so messed up. So yeah. some people were actually two years older than what they actually were. Wow. So, wow. Or, or two days older, you know, give or take a few hours. Yeah. But go ahead, man, can, can carry on. Yeah, yeah, but so, so yeah, I, I did this piece. Um, I don't really have a name for it, but um, it was something along the lines of that, that information. Now, I heard this, I re not recently heard this song, but I heard a song called, a while back, called Strange Fruit. Kind of Holiday? Yeah. Oh, actually, uh, the Nina Simone, Nina Simone both of them, both of okay. them, both of them, mm -hmm. they just, they just did beautiful on the song. So I just kind of mixed that up, you know, with the piece. Kind of got inspired by Maya Angelou, how she kind of used to fuse two poems together and kind of come up with her own recipe. Yeah. So you know, and, um, well, let's go ahead and get into the piece, then. Most brother. definitely. Um, they hung us up in trees like Christmas lights in June. Dangling ornaments our African kings and queens. See, they had no idea what they was doing back then, but found every reason in the world to do it back then. This is why I talk about it, so we can never go back through it again. But it seems like we are still going through it. Killing one another in a fit of rage with a cold bullet that did not even have a name on it. R.I.P. my brother Hustle. Another brother who was a casualty of this war that is quietly awakening our consciousness towards how valuable life is again. See, 
There are so many people killing people that we are starting to lose count. But the reality is this. It becomes easier to kill those who look like you, especially when you feel like your life is invaluable. Nipsey. Another strange fruit picked too early from the poplar tree by another black crow. I guess the old racist soul did know what they was doing. Setting in place a culture where killing black people only led to black people killing black people while everyone else becomes blind to this evil. <laughs> My mother-in-law put up a post the other day saying that this is the new KKK. Kings killing kings. Blacks killing blacks. <laughs> See, we no longer swing in the trees. We just lay in the street like black tar blending into the concrete. And yes, black lives do matter. But for some reason, it only seems like black lives matter when it's attached to a white agenda. I'm just saying, when the blood is running down your driveway or the blood is spit up, spilling down your house, how long will it matter if a white cop is the one that spilt it out? Mm. Yeah, so, and I, I wanted to de dedicate that piece to my cousin, Barrell. Um, he, was a, he was a victim of gun violence. Uh, he died August night, 2017. And unfortunately, he was killed by another black brother. And uh, so, and I, I had, over the past couple of years, I actually had um, five cousins that was victims of, of, of gun violence, and uh, four of them actually died. And um, I have one, she's actually, um, she's paralyzed now. So, you know, so this is, just kind of wanted to dedicate that piece to them. Oh, man, I, I respect that, you know what I'm saying? And for those of y'all that are not familiar with the poetry world, sometimes we be like, you know, we clap, you know, we give snaps, snaps, you know what I'm saying? And even if you was in the car, you know what I'm saying, you heard a dope line, you could have been like, rewind! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. this is, man, but yeah, that is a dope, something dope that we had to talk about. And uh, I will probably talk about that on another episode of the show, you know, Black on Black Crime. Um, you know, in terms of that and in terms of the myth of it, because really at the end of the day, it is really um, a mess because, yeah. as you and I have talked about, yeah. you know, uh, most people commit crimes against people that look like them. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's why I say it's a whole um, agenda. But yeah. um, not to get pretty much off topic, you know what I'm saying? They came back <laughs> yes. to talk a yes. little bit more yes. about what they got going on. And uh, oh, before I forget, family, uh, y'all do know I am a poet as well. Uh, most yes. of y'all do know I'm a poet yes. slash actor, and I would like to say, please, please go out and stream. Your brother right here has a new EP out called Rewrides of the Phoenix. If you want to stream that, please do. It's called Rewrides of the Phoenix. You can find that on Spotify. Yes. You can find that on Google Music, uh, uh, the Station Head. Uh, which I understand is really, really big now, or uh, what have you. Um, and shout out to Station Head, man. Apparently, my poem, Freestyle Love, is ranked on uh, their charts as the number five position. Nice. You know what I'm saying? So definitely. And you can find it on YouTube. All this, you can find it all under Water Walkers. Go to Water Walkers. For those of you who don't understand me, past my New York accent, that's Water, W A T E R. And Walkers is spelled W-A-L-K-A-S. So go to Water Walkers. You can find it on uh, Spotify. Shout out to my man, Jay May, uh, Jermaine with um, Water Walkers who produced the joint. And, uh, you know, definitely, listen, man, I, 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 I'm very happy to announce that my first week I did 48,000 plus streams. Jeez. You know what I'm saying? So I That's am, awesome. you That's know, great. Up, you know what I'm saying? That's great. Up, happy with that. Happy with that. So go stream it now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Go stream yeah. it now. I need some money. You know what I'm saying? I need some money. <laughs> stream it. You know what I'm saying? So um, getting back, man. So let me just ask y'all. Because I know y'all originally came back in here to talk about. It. I know we got off a little bit off topic a little bit. Yeah. So, what would you say is what would you say is the before entering marriage? What are some tips that you can give people, you know, to do uh, to make the first step? Besides being the first step, obviously, to propose. Mm -hmm. You know, what do you feel are like the the successes or the success steps to take? Uh, in order to have a successful and what are the pitfalls and mistakes that people make you know before getting married mm. Tiff you want to speak first or you want to yeah <laughs> um, or 
if you want to use personal experience, like what were the yeah. positive things y'all did, yeah. and then or what was messed up thing, you know, either or. Right. Um, to have a successful marriage, definitely one of our things is keeping God first. Yeah. No other. Yeah. Keeping Him first. Communicating. Um, continue to court one another. Mm-hmm. You know, some people get comfortable yeah. when they first, you know, they get comfortable within their marriage and forget the things that they did to get that person or that drew the person, you know. And um, that's it's, it's okay to get comfortable, but not that kind of comfortable. Oh, I mean, like a, like the couch, like the sofa. Uh-huh. Like, right. First of all, like the sofa. You right. got like you got like your favorite spot a- on there. Exactly. Yeah. Like yeah. not, th- yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you know, that's what I'm saying. You don't, you don't want to get so you don't right. get so comfortable that you stop. You just kind of just lay there. You right. Know what you saying? just you lay. Still, you know, what I'm saying a lot of people, like I said, love is an action word. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you want to you want to continue to keep showing it. And like I said, really, whatever you did to get that woman, keep doing it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, a lot when it comes to marriage, a lot of people, they just they start perceiving their wife different. How they perceive their spouse That's differently. differently. You know, so and when the way that you perceive something, once you start perceiving it differently, then the value drifts away. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And so, and I think that's that's really the reality is that you just got to keep doing what you did to get her. You know what I'm saying? If and once you lose that, <laughs> yeah. like I said, once once you once you continue to keep doing it, like I said, it makes everything easy. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It makes the process easy, and then it makes the person. If that's the person that you're supposed to be with, right. you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times we select the wrong person. And that's not who God um, destined speak, speak, us to be speak with. Speak up just a little bit. Okay. Uh, that's not who God destined for us to be with. We rush into things because of I I, I want to be married by this age, and I want to get married by that age. And then, as a woman, I don't think it's our job to go out there and look for a husband. You know. He's supposed to find you. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And a man who finds his wife found a good thing and right. obtained favor. Mm-hmm. You know, and you guys receive favor together, you right. know. And um but though it seemed like the way how things are, it's like I want to you know, and I, I can test to that in the past, you know, you want somebody to love you. But how can you love somebody else if you don't have love for you? Yeah. Then you wind up going out there getting something that you're like, man, this person's not treating me good. Right. Well, yeah. you got to treat you good. Yeah. <laughs> now, let me ask you, because um, I know you, you, you talk a lot about your father uh, a lot of times. Uh, was he definitely like the barometer in which you were looking for a husband? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I can tell <laughs> for those of y'all that can't see yeah. well, she's smiling right through the microphone yeah so. <laughs> my dad chose my husband <laughs> he did oh my god my dad um whew. he chose my husband he um was a man that worked hard provided for his family um just a good provider, just a great husband, very respectful, love his kids, and was so, you know, love his wife. Um, and I seen that in in my husband. My dad saw that in my husband. That's amazing. See, yeah. so fellas, that's why it pays to make sure yeah. that you know you you know you treating your daughters well. Oh, yeah. And if you have if you're a deadbeat or what have you, get in your daughter's life and be a good father to them. Right. Because you want to make sure that they end up with a good man. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. I don't have daughters right now. You know what I'm saying? But I do know my goddaughters. You know, Cece and Amari. You know, I look they better come correct my nieces and everything you know what I'm saying brothers better come correct I'm gonna talk about that after the break what happened to one of my nieces one time you know what I'm saying so again we will be right back after the break y'all with Confessions with Brian T. Bethia on WJHM 102jams.com again you are listening to Confessions with Brian T. Bethia and download that app if you have an Android 
All right, we'll be right back after the break, y'all. Peace. <laughs> Over 40 years, Lighthouse Central Florida has provided education, independent life skills, and job training to thousands of Central Floridians who live with blindness or any degree of vision loss. Whether it's picking up clothes in the morning or just moving around your community to serving Orange, Seminole, and Osceola County, contact Lighthouse Central Florida at 407-898-2483 or visit them online Peace, family. Again, this is Brian with Confessors with Brian T. But then, don't want y'all to forget, also, I host a weekly open mic called Writer's Block. Who's next? Every Saturday, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, every Saturday at TNT Cafe. That's T E A A N Cafe. Address 127 West Fairbanks Avenue in Winter Park. So, again, Writer's Block at TNT Cafe. 127 West Fairbanks Avenue in Winter Park. Peace, y'all. Hi, BS Show. would like to thank Boggy Creek Airboat Adventures for being one of our sponsors. I got to go on an airboat and saw a real gator. I even got to go to the gem mine and mine for some gems. We ate a steak dinner at the restaurant and even got some gator rights. If you want to have a blast with the entire family, I suggest you go to www.bcairboats.com right now get your Tickets today. The website again is bcairboats.com. Stop! Put that hammer down. If you are frustrated with your computer, we have a better way. Call Your Computer Solutions at 407 826 0810 and let one of our staff handle it for you. Again, our number is 407 826 0810 and we can work remotely or on site to solve your computer issues. Use your computer hammer free with Your Computer Solutions at 407-826-0810. See, Jamie Smith, law.com. You can call him at 407-801-2667. Wait, you are not Chuck. My dad can help when people get hurt. He loves to help people. If you are ever injured at work or in a car accident, you should call my friend Chuck. You can call him at 407-801-2667. That website again is cwsmithwall.com. Offices, Orlando. Does it actually have that much W's? <laughs> Aw, Dad, my computer's slow again and I can't play my games. Call your computer solutions today and we will scan for viruses and clean that computer up remotely and make it fast again. Our phone number is 407-826-0810. Thanks, Dad. My computer is fast again. Now I can do my homework. Thanks for calling your computer solutions at 407-826-0810. And once again, we are back with Confessions with Brian T. Bethia on WJHM 102jams.com. Listen, before we continue with the conversation, definitely business owners, we are looking for more sponsors for confessions, so definitely holler at us on Facebook. on Facebook. Of course, you can also email us with, um, or, or you know, of course, look for us with wjhm102jams.com. Uh, so definitely, man, uh, we are looking for more sponsors in that regard. I need money. I need more money. You know what I'm saying? So, but get back to the conversation. We are again back with. Uh, Tiffany Miss now Angel Smith and um, you know LaFabian Smith here. Now I'm about to tell you the story about what happened to my niece. Because you're talking about fathers are the barometer of which they choose, um, which they daughter choose a husband. So I hope my niece doesn't mind me saying this. Hopefully, you know, but oh well. Um, <laughs> I just won't say what, probably which niece it was. I had one of my nieces. She went to the prom, mm -hmm. right? Senior prom, you only get one senior prom, you know what I'm saying, unless you're going to somebody else's senior prom in the same year, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, or what have you. Uh, so, senior prom, her date was two hours late uh -oh. picking her up. Uh -oh. Two hours late picking her up. Yeah. yeah. And I found out the story, and I was like, oh, okay. Oh, um, mm. yeah. So, when I say my brother, one of my brother's uh, daughter, so he was livid. Yeah. He livid. Mm -hmm. So much to the point where everybody else that was around there, you know, watching her get pictures and stuff like that, was like, no, don't worry about what. We'll 
handle the young man exactly. or what have you. And the young man was really late because he went to the shop or what have you, did whatever, mm -hmm. whatever, 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 didn't really seem to bother. I'm like, when she told me the story, I'm like, look, if I was you, I would have left him. Yep. You yep. know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> don't accept none of that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, you know, let the lesson be learned, you know, now that so that the next time it happens, you're like, no, you're going to prioritize me. Yeah, you know exactly. what I'm saying? Because, you know, my thing is this. Any woman that's had a father that's worth anything, you know, would have taught her how a man is supposed to treat her. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So that's when I say fathers, you are the barometer. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Husbands or boyfriends, like, you got a lot to live up to. Oh, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So... Yeah. Um, and same thing with mothers. You know what I'm saying? Mothers, you are the barometer in which your son chooses a wife. You know what I'm saying? I got arguably the best mother in the world. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's be, be best to lead by example. So, um, like for me, my father, I told my father one time, everything I learned about how to treat a woman <clears throat> was just by how he watched, just by watching him, how he treated my mother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he could have talked to you, he was blue in, blue in the face telling me how, you know, how to do this or I should be doing this, that, and the, uh, or the other. M my father literally probably saved a date from me one time. You know what I'm saying? My, my prom date probably didn't even, she's probably going to know now that I'm letting the cat out the bag. But, you know, he was the reason pretty much why I got the corsage for her because mm -hmm. I ain't know nothing about that or whatever. He was like, yeah. no, 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 you going to do what? You going to go to the, with no... Mm. Come here, man. We're going to stop by the, the store, get her a corsage and everything to make right. sure she was looking right. And I'm like, Dad, thank you. You know what I'm saying? So so what would you say that your father kind of like taught you in terms of like how your husband is supposed to treat you? Well, <laughs> I'm going to just start off saying this. When my father... <laughs> He's always tell me and my sister, pray for a husband, pray for a husband, pray for a husband that's going to love you for you and turn in eternally. Someone who respects their self, someone who loves God, um, someone that's going to help you build the bridge when it breaks. Yeah. Now, a lot of people always ask, well, what does that mean? Build the bridge when it breaks. It can be anything financially. Whether you have an emotional breakdown, you know, spirit, spiritually to be there to lift me up in prayer, you know, not a person that's just going to leave you hanging mm -hmm. on every aspect. Right. I get, I get it. Because there's a lot of times when times get tough and times get rough, people are just like, all right, I'm out. You right. know what I'm saying? I can't deal with you right now. You know what I'm saying? You need to fix this or what have you. And they... You know, we kind of like dump all of our problems on one spouse and expect that one person yes. to handle it all. Yes. And he used to tell us, I don't know how far I can go on here, <laughs> but um, it, it, it's, it's at night time, so the kids is probably at sleep. We, we good. Oh, okay, okay. Excuse my language, but my father did tell us this, and this is something that got me, me by. He always said, there's nothing out there in the streets for a woman but dick, death, and destruction. The three Ds. <laughs> he always said, remember the three Ds. Mm. And that's what he taught us. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, <laughs> that's, <laughs> excuse my language, that's how he said it. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. and um, I mean, as I got older... You know, when I was younger, he used to say that. He'd be like, okay, daddy, like, wow, like, that is, that's a lot. Like, I'm only 13 years old. <laughs> 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 like, so I don't know, <laughs> like, but as I got older <laughs> and I started getting into relationships with guys and started experiencing things, right. I'm like, man, my dad told me. <laughs> he told me it's nothing out here but dick death and destruction 3Ds why did I not listen so <laughs> yeah yeah we, we gotta all be careful about that my oh, father yeah. almost he didn't give me of course obviously not the same yeah. type of talk uh -huh. obviously you know what I'm saying <laughs> you know he it's funny how mothers and fathers have two different explanations yeah. for the same thing my mother 
like for instance, always preach abstinence. You know mm. what I'm saying? Always just like, you know, Brian, what's the best way for not having sex, mom? Okay. Great. Right. My father? What'd your mother tell you? My mother said, don't have, you know, sex to Like, all right, forget what your mother said. Huh. And he was literally he's like, yeah, forget what your mother said. No matter where you are, always have a condom. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know when you be in the heat of the moment, what have you, and, you know, you don't want to be kept caught off guard. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you, you have to learn that. I say all that to say, like, people sometimes do the reverse before getting to know each other. Yeah. They're just like, oh, we got to get in the sack. Yeah. You know, right now, exactly. I got to see, you know, you know what I'm saying? Or, or, you know, a guy will look at a woman's face and see the size of her lips be like, yeah, let me see what them lips do. I mean, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, a girl might fail a package in a man's pack, you know. Yeah. And be like, you know, and be like, all right, let me see what, yeah, what that exactly. what that about. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, how, how, let me ask this. How important was it for y'all to really establish, like, that friendship first, you know what I'm saying, before going any deeper? And, because y'all said y'all had that, that, that yeah. 10-hour long conversation. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you know, be the, to be honest yeah. with you, it when I got with Tiff, it wasn't even on that tip. Yeah. It it wasn't even like it was on it was like a completely different vibe yeah, when I when we got with her. It wasn't like on that I gotta have it right now. Granted, mm-hmm. my wife is absolutely gorgeous. But I was like so amazed by everything else she had to offer. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that was like that was just was like, Icing on top of the cake, you know, just doing that. But that that was, but she had so much to offer, you know what like, I'm saying? So none of that was on our like in our books when we first. No, nah. we were more so. I was like, oh my god, he is so fine. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> and I was like, he is such a cutie, like you know. But it wasn't. It was like our chemistry was so was so deep that at first we didn't even think about sex. Like we was just like, wow, like. This person is amazing, yeah. but that's what made. That's what made that part yeah, exactly. wonderful. Exactly. Wonderful, yeah, exactly. right? So, yeah. That's <laughs> it. We, I mean, I was literally, be like four o'clock in the evening, and I had I was driving an hour to go to her every day after work. I was well, like, right. and I was, and I just was. Yep, every and, day. And I just, and it just continued on. I like until we was inseparable. You know what I'm saying? So I just, it was just like that. You know what I'm saying? And so that's why I said it's just, and it wasn't even on that tip. You know what I'm saying? Like we just, it was just amazing chemistry. Yeah. You know I, I, I'll, I'll say the same. Because when me and mine first got together, when me and mine first got together, um, yeah, it was, let me not lie. I was like, <laughs> Yeah, she's fine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and she went, she got this dress that she wears. It was just like, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. yeah, yeah. And, you know, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna be good, Lord. We wait until you know, we wait until we um, yeah. you know, get married and whatnot. But I'm like, she don't know. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, uh, that's what I just wanted to ask, man. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, just make sure we get that out of the bag. You don't always have to jump in the sap first because people always talk about, man, I got to see what it work. you know, how, how that yeah. worked before yeah. we, she and I, you know, or before, you know, or in a woman's case, you know, before, you know, whatever man she's dealing with at the time. was mm-hmm. like, yeah, I got to see what that do, you know what I'm saying, see if I want to be married or for the for the next five ten years or so or whatever you know what I'm saying so uh, well what what do you think was that what was that what was that thing about your lady that you that made you that makes you want to stay her patience um yeah her, definitely her patience her love for me when I say this woman loves me man yeah. this woman loves the kid. You know what I'm saying? I can't blame her, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't blame her. <laughs> you know? Yeah. No. No, I'm just, I'm just messing around. Yeah. You know, I got to act beige for a little second. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, beige brothers be acting sometimes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but um, now nah, she's gorgeous, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and um, you know, 
she doesn't like for me to talk too much about, you know, because yeah. she likes to keep a lot of stuff personal. Of but I'm bragging about her, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't think she's going to mind right now. Yeah. Um, but, you know, she she's dope. She looks out for me, man. I think what probably caught me a little bit is, like, when we first start dating, even now, actually even now, you know, I come in the crib, and she's like, hey, babe, you know, you hungry? Yeah. You know, you want something to drink or something like that? And I was like, they still make women like that? Like, <laughs> wow. Trust me. I thought I, wow. I thought I looked. Mm-hmm. When, I, when I got with my wife, I was like, man. I was like, I didn't even know women like this even existed. You know what I'm saying? Because of what I had prior. But one thing I do one thing I do know, and I, I would never, ever take back. I never would want to take back the experience that I had with my first. Because I learned everything that I needed to do learn how to be a good husband right from a failed marriage you know so i yeah. like that you yeah know what I'm so I, I like I, that i learned everything i need to know to be able to treat her exactly how she needs to be treated <laughs> you know what i'm saying so you know don't you start that, <laughs> start that. <laughs> they all lovey dovey you can't see right now but some of y'all can't see but they all lovey dovey hugging on each other and whatnot it's a 24 7 with them you know what i'm saying you know uh but definitely man yeah I'm, for me and mine I, I definitely want to say um yeah she looks out for me you know what i'm how saying she, how she feel about your poetry dude oh she loves it you yeah know, that's how i met her you know what i'm saying well we kind of go back and forth because neither one of us can remember how we met each other you know we just know whom we met each other through yeah you know what i'm saying um, for those of y'all that are probably wondering, it's through uh, Dr. Eugenia Agard, who's been a past guest on my show before, yeah. um, and um, in regards to mental health. Uh, yeah, we met through her. Or that I know, we just say um, we met because Eugenia used to bring her to church, okay, um, to our church to visit or what have you. Now, in terms of like when we first officially met, I think it was at my show. Mm. For those of y'all that don't know, I do host a weekly open mic called Writer's Block. Who's next? Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, every Saturday from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. at TNT Cafe in Winter Park, Florida. Please follow Writer's Block Orlando on Instagram or ask to join the Writer's Block group page on Facebook. Uh, shameless plug. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I probably met her there. And then yeah. it, once, um, you know, ironically, <laughs> I kid you not, one thing that she said drew, drew her to me uh, um, and I want to make sure, let, let y'all know, no, I did not cheat on my ex-wife <laughs> with my lady now yes. or what have you. I just so happened to meet her while I was still married yes. at the time. You know what I'm saying? Um, I will say this. She used to come to the open mic or what have you, and yeah. I used to talk about my ex-wife when I was happily married mm. or what have you. And she said what drew, what was very, uh, what was very, um, What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, telling, or mm-hmm. uh, as she thought that was really, really dope, was how dope I used to talk about my ex-wife when I was married to her. And she was like, "Oh wow, that's nice." Or I wish I can get a, you know, she used to wish she can get a guy like me, yeah. or what have you. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little tough actor. Follow that, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, love, man. A little bit hard to come by. Um, but, um, but lo and behold, yeah. Fast forward a couple of years, my marriage didn't work. And uh, you ever be around somebody where there's a there's a connection, a weird connection? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. it's like, but it, it, you kind of trying to pinpoint it. Um, you know, just fast forward. You know, I was it just got to a point. I was just like, okay, she's 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 nice. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. find myself. Yeah. And then one thing led to another. We, you know, when my divorce was finally final, um, finalized, I asked her out one day, called her up out the blue, and um, we started hanging and whatnot. And and uh, you know, long conversations. Yeah. Long conversations, like literally. You ever seen that meme going around on social media when the brother's on the phone and it's like when the, uh, it's like when it says uh, when the conversation be be mad good or something like that, yeah. something like that. Uh, yeah, that's how it was. We would talk all night. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Talking, talking the car. You know what I'm saying? Talk on the phone. You know, she'd come by the crib, yeah. accidentally spent the night. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, she didn't mean to stay there. She just, we just kept talking, didn't know when to shut yeah. up because we just enjoyed each other's Top. company. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, um, <clears throat> but, you know, and, and yeah, she's, you know, 
I lucked out in the, uh, in the looks department. She, <laughs> my lady's dope. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I got to give her that. She's yeah, dope. She's I'm saying that on air. Yes, yeah. I am saying that on air. <laughs> and I know I'm special to her because I introduced to her family. You know nice. what I'm saying? So, nice. yeah. Her friends and family was all shot when they found that out. So, I'm like, hey, you know. Um, but, you know, oh, no, we've gone back and forth with uh, marriage and and stuff like that. And just to, you know, I, I had to deal with my own things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Making sure when the timing is right. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not easy when you're coming from a previous marriage that didn't work. Exactly. And you just want to make sure um, that works. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it doesn't fail like the last one did. Because exactly. I will admit, when I got divorced the first time, I felt like a failure. Yeah. Because my parents have, uh, currently, my parents have, are married 59 years. Wow, Oof. that's you know what amazing. Saying? Listen. So, and when I got divorced, I'm like, well, hey, you know what I'm saying? I got divorced, my parents still happily married. You know, I mm -hmm. thought I had the, the, uh, the recipe. Uh, but That's apparently, amazing. yeah, it, it, it didn't work out. So uh, hopefully this time, I'm, you know, I'm learning to let that go. And hopefully in the next marriage will work out just fine and whatnot. Uh, but we will continue to talk more about that in just a second. We will be coming back, y'all. We got to go to commercial. Got to pay some bills. Now, I mean, Confessions with Brian T. Bethia on WJHM 102 Jams. Dot com. We'll be right back, y'all, in just a few minutes. Peace. This is Aretha Simons. When I'm driving, I'm listening to Confessions with Brian T. Bethier on 102 Jams. All you dolls out there, this is me, Sizzle. 2019 flew by and my friend still did not have the body she wanted. Then I discovered the solution. The Cosmetic Surgery Place. Yes, Cosmetic Surgery. Don't spend another minute miserable. Call 407 Six three six five thousand. She did. Now my friend is all of that and then some. Be one of the next seven callers to receive your breast surgery free with a tummy tuck. Yes, free. Call now at four zero seven six three six five thousand. Oak Ridge Gun Range is a family-oriented shooting range that has been in business for over thirty years. They specialize in basic firearm training and offer new services such as consignments, gun trades, gunsmithing. I even got my training for gun safety at Oak Ridge Gun Range. Great customer service. And firearm safety is what they do best. So find out more at OakRidgeGunRange.com. The Type Beard Show would like to thank one of our awesome sponsors, SpotChannelUS.com. These guys are very, very cool. They bring 21st century surface drainage solutions to reality. They can do corporate and government work. These are the guys that make roads and bridges safe in the rain. You can see all about them at SlotChannelUS.com. That website again is SlotChannelUS.com. Aw, Dad, my computer's slow again and I can't play my games. Call your computer solutions today and we will scan for viruses and clean that computer up remotely and make it fast again. Our phone number is 407-826-0810. Thanks, Dad. My computer's fast again. Now I can do my homework. Thanks for calling your computer solutions at 407-826-0810. Midstate Fire has been providing top quality fire equipment services for three generations to the Central Florida area. Don't wait for an emergency to repair. Call Midstate Fire today at 407 407- 246-8855. Get your fire extinguishers and emergency lighting for both your home and businesses by visiting www.midstatefire.com. That number again is 407-246-8855. The Type View Show would like to thank one of our dedicated sponsors, Custom Designs Orlando. These guys are on Mills Avenue and do all sorts of stuff. Ranging from photo ID badges, engraved signs, custom grail ADA signs, vinyl littering, to trophies and awards. They can ship products all over the United States. You can reach them at 407-898-0373. Welcome back, y'all. We are back again with Confessions with Brian T. Bethia on WJHM. 
102jams.com. Again, we have back in the studio with uh, Tiffany Miss now Angel Smith hey. and her husband, LaFabian Smith, <laughs> yes. you know, co-owners of Miss Nail Angel's Nails. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, definitely, man. And, of course, we done back and forth with some, you know, we done some poetry, talked about uh, yes. our woman and whatnot. Yes, most you, definitely. You, you about to ask me a hey, question hey, or something, bro? Yeah, boss. Uh, well, what about this new LP that you just put out, man? You got you got some for us that you can you know spare, you know. Uh, a little something, something for the for the LP. All oh, right. definitely. All right, listen, 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 listen. Uh, I'm gonna do y'all's favorite piece that I do yeah. since y'all are here, <laughs> and uh, this is the piece that they have requested that I do when they do a renewing of their vows ceremony. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I'm yeah. definitely gonna do it for y'all. Um, you know, it's, it's well. It's self-explanatory. You got to get know the name of the poem in the poem. So here we go. When God created Eve, he created her in the image of you. And he knew that a woman so beautiful would stop Adam's heart. So he created a work of art with the heart to keep his blood circulating long enough for the two of them to begin procreating. And every woman God ever created has been implanted with your prototypical DNA since the birth of creation. That's why every year on your birthday, the stars at night form a constellation that tells the story of your birth. Mm -hmm. And just like you, any woman born into our family will be more precious than rubies because they will know their self-worth, priceless. And because I'm so grateful, I know that me being with you was something God had planned to do. Because as I stare at the constellation he forms, it serves as a flux capacitor as my heart rate speeds up to 88 miles an hour so I can go back in time and thank your parents for conceiving the thought of you. I see visions of you, sitting on the throne of my heart like Nefertiti, transforming my blood flow into the Nile River, irrigating my arid body with the water of love. That's why I have a life of fertility. I pledge allegiance to you because you're my American dream. Your aura radiates so much that you make butterflies return to cocoons because you make them lose their self-esteem. You're an analogy in which nothing can be compared to. I ask God for the perfect female so he descended from heaven in the form of you. Mm. See, you're my inspiration. You made the Food and Drug Administration approve a new perfume by cloning your perspiration. On a bad day, I go to you to make me happy because you reshape my reality and baby, I swear, you're so banging that you make schizophrenic Geminis commit to your voice and one personality. So you're the perfect woman that has all the right ingredients. And every time I stand to your eyes, I have an out-of-body experience. See, as I become my reflection in your eyes, I internalize your perception of me. Then I re-enter my body to tell you all the beauty inside of you I see. See, sometimes I call you faith because you give me confidence that whatever I hope for will actually happen. Then give me assurance about things I cannot see because God put a tag in your heart that reads, Made in heaven. And I know all the days won't be perfect, but I know we'll be able to stand the rain because you are a marvel with the power of a Roman Monroe to control the weather and produce the sunlight that takes away the pain. And when I first touched you, I felt under your spell. That's why if you died, I would fly around the earth counterclockwise, reversing time to prevent your death from happening to the Kryptonian son of jor Because see, your death will be my kryptonite and you are my son. And just like the son of Jarrell, I get my power from the sun. So if you ever burn down and stop shining, not only would I lose my power, but I'll also lose the source of my strengthening. But see, Jesus told me personally that he died for giving me my sins because you be the start of my salvation. And the words of this poem love you so much that they kick the period of the end of each sentence and use you as punctuation. See, you are my core that controls my gravitational pull to keep me grounded, but somehow I mentally remain rotating in your orbit 24 hours a day because baby, when I'm with you, I'm just simply astounded. And if we were together for just one night, then know that me writing this poem about you is well worth it because you've already given me a lifetime of memories. Just know that every time I blink when I stare at you is a Kodak moment because each blink is a snapshot of all your best qualities. I mean, even at nighttime, the moon becomes the sun, just so that it can know how it feels to shine on you. <laughs> and as that moonlight shines on your face, <laughs> I tell you, Brenda, it's not just Muñeca. Because every day you return from heaven, I get to unwrap my doll who floats down on her wings. The only woman that's been able to give me indescribable feelings. <laughs> and that's the reason why the name of this poem is called Untitled Love. Oh, I know I had to get you back. You had me do too often. <laughs> 
I had to get you yeah. back. <laughs> that, I love that That's piece. That's my man. favorite. Oh piece. my gosh, you gonna be saying that at our spot? Yeah. Yes. Most Appreciate it. Definitely. Appreciate it. Definitely. Yes. And yes, that poem is called "Untitled Love." Yes. Exactly how I said it in the poem, which you can find on my new EP, "Re Rise yeah. of the Phoenix." Beautiful. Which, if you listen to the last episode of uh, Confessions, of course, you will be able to find that on um, Spotify, uh, Google Music, Station Head, YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Just look that up and uh, look it up under Water Walkers. Walkers being spelled W-A-L-K-A-S. Uh, definitely look that up, man. Follow that up and you can listen to that. You know, it's got music to it. Yeah. It's got, you know, guitar and it's got horns. Uh, horns being like saxophone, trumpet or whatever it is, man. So, uh, yeah, we did it real, real dope again. Uh, so definitely go ahead and do that. Get that hey, LP. Get, get, get the, it. Get you know what I'm saying? Uh, get that I'm easy. putting people back in love with each yeah. other so that y'all can yeah. be back together yeah. and yeah. stay married. And, you know, yeah. you know, if you're not making babies, you should be practicing making babies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we definitely want to make sure that y'all be, be doing that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We want to get people back to practicing making babies. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I said it. I said it the exact way I said it. Yes, I did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just got to do Sometimes you got to put it a different way. You know what yeah. I'm saying? People just got to know, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, yeah. hopefully, you know, Tiffany, you got any potion? <laughs> <laughs> no? No poetry. <laughs> no? But she does do Just nails. Nail she, do poetry. Yeah, she do poetry with them hands. With the nails. For real. It's a very Y'all poetic check her, check her out. Check her out on Instagram, Y'all, Facebook, all that. On her Instagram, she showed me a picture of her nails with a picture of Kobe Bryant on them. I don't know how she put Kobe Bryant on a fingernail, <laughs> yeah. but she done did it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, definitely, man. You know what I'm saying? I know it's not easy running the business and being married, but you two make it seem effortlessly. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I got to give y'all props to that because um, I know for a lot of people, it's not easy for for a lot of y'all. It's the source, man. It's our source. Right. God. Yep. God, God is our source, man. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. Won't he do it? <laughs> won't he? Won't he? Won't he? Won't he? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Hallelujah, man. Hallelujah, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know how people be church, talking in tongues in church exactly. you know what I'm saying listen y'all ladies listen she found her Boaz you can find yours too fellas I'm telling you right now you know when you find a wife man you find a good thing you know what I'm saying yeah. definitely want to make sure fellas understand you know it ain't about quantity it's about quality exactly quality of woman that you have will always outdo the quantity of the woman that you have. You know what I'm saying? So listen, we gotta go pay some bills. We'll be right back, y'all, with Confessions with Brian T. Bathia on WJHM102Jams.com. Don't touch that dial. Download that app on your Android. All right? We'll be right back after these commercial breaks, y'all. Y'all, enjoy the music out. Peace. Lighthouse Central Florida has provided education, independent life skills, and job training to thousands of Central Floridians or any degree you can talk. Whether it's picking your clothes in the morning or just moving around your community and serving Orange, Seminole, and Osceola County, contact Lighthouse Central Florida at 407-898-2483 or visit them online at lighthousecfl.org. Aw, Dad, my computer's slow again and I can't play my games. Call your computer solutions today and we will scan for viruses and clean that computer up remotely and make it fast again. Our phone number is 407-826-0810. Thanks, Dad, my computer's fast again. Now I can do my homework. Thanks for calling your computer solutions at 407-826-0810. Hi, my name is Tavirus Boy. I work with Your Computer Solutions. If your computer is not working, my dad can fix it. He can fix it on-site or remotely. Just call him at 407-826-0810 and tell him Tavirus sent you. That's me. That phone number again is 407-826-0810. Hey guys, this is TC1, and when I stay in Orlando, I like to stay at the Quality Suites over on International Drive. 
They are amazing property, simple rooms in an all-suite hotel with outdoor pool, a restaurant, plus free Wi-Fi and shuttle. Guys, give them a call at 407-363-0332. They're located at 7400 Canada Ave, Orlando, Florida, 32819. Peace, family. Again, this is Brian with Confessions with Brian T. But there, don't want y'all to forget, also, I host a weekly open mic called Writer's Block. Who's next? Every Saturday, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, every Saturday at TNT Cafe. That's T E A A N D T E A Cafe. Address 127 West Fairbanks Avenue in Winter Park. So, again, Writer's Block at TNT Cafe, 127 West Fairbanks Avenue in Winter Park. Peace, y'all. All you dolls out there, this is me, Sizzle. 2019 flew by and my friend still did not have the body she wanted. Then I discovered a solution. The Cosmetic Surgery Place. Yes, Cosmetic Surgery. Don't spend another minute miserable. Call 407-636-5000. She did. Now my friend is all of that and then some. Be one of the next seven callers to receive your breast surgery. Free with a tummy tuck. Yes, free. Call now at 407-636-5000. This is Aretha Simons. When I'm driving, I'm listening to Confessions with Brian T. Bethier on 102 Jams. And we are back with Confessions with Brian T. Bethier on WJHM102Jams.com. We are about to finish up the show with uh, LaFabian and Tiffany Miss Nail Angel Smith. You know what I'm saying? Definitely got to say the nickname because that's what you know, <laughs> she is. The Miss Nail Angel, and that's the name of that business. Yeah. Miss Nail Angel's Nails. You know what I'm saying? Now, you do tiny drawings on nails. Br- briefly, briefly, you do tiny drawings on nails. Yeah. How did you get into doing that? I started off doing that back in 2009 when I first got into doing nails. Actually, I started doing it on myself. Like I was, you know, I used to tell my husband, like, how am I gonna, how am I gonna take a large piece of art and put it on something uh, so small, a smaller canvas, but just with practicing, just practicing, practicing, practicing. Practice makes perfection. I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. Now, let the people know again, where can they find you on social media? You can find me on Instagram at Tiffany, T-I-F-F-A-N-I underscore Miss Nell Angel. That is M-S-N-A-I-L-A-N-G-E-L at Yahoo.com. I mean, at, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm saying my email, right. but that's good too. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that could be <laughs> used too. Tiffany underscore Miss Nell Angel on Instagram. And also you can um, pull up that same name on Google. That's how you can find me. You can also find me on Facebook at... Um, Tiffany, Miss Nell Angel as well. Um, you can also pull me up on Twitter at Tiffany Miss Nell Angel as well. <laughs> All right. And they can also book an appointment online. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Acuity. Is um, um, it's Miss Nell Angel's Nails dot Acuity Scheduling dot com. All right. All right. And like I said, fam, you definitely go check out her Instagram. It is on like taking the old older Old kind of old school. It is on fleek. You know what I'm saying? I believe the term was you'll yeah, be used to you. You know what I'm saying? It's nice. You know, well, technically in this case, it's on Instagram. You know, definitely follow her on the gram. Yeah. Um, you know, her and her husband both have been have been a blessing. They are literally like how you heard them on the microphone this evening is exactly how they are in person. <laughs> she is always encouraging him when he's up on the microphone doing some poetry as well. You know what I'm saying? And they've been rubbing on each other the whole time. You know what I'm saying? So definitely let me also shout out my own social media. Again, you can also find me on Instagram, my personal page on Instagram, which is also for acting, uh, things I'm doing acting wise and poetry, The Phoenix 516. T H E P H O E N I X 516 at Instagram.com. Follow the Writer's Block uh, page on Instagram as well, Writer's Block Orlando. Um, also, again, uh, and on Facebook, Brian T. Bethia Confessions. And for this podcast show, 
Confessions with Brian T. Bathia on Facebook. In case you're a poet and want to know about my, my poetry, you can ask to join the Writer's Block group page on Facebook as well. Find me on Twitter, the Phoenix 516 as well as Writer's Block WS on Twitter. And uh, listen, man, it's been real. It's been fun. We'll see y'all next time. And you know what I'm saying? So you know, until the next time, have fun, be safe, enjoy yourselves. We'll be back next time, y'all. Peace. Are you frustrated with your computer? Tired of waiting for the computer to let you get your work done? Having an IT professional available when you need him can be invaluable to your business. With a Your Computer Solutions monthly can enjoy error-free computing and get your tasks done when you want them done. Got a virus or malware warning? Call YCS and let them remotely solve the issue for you. Computer running slow? Give YCS a call and they will remotely fix it. When? Well, right away. On average, our clients are back up and running within 10 minutes of their call. If you want your computer to run smoothly month after month, just get the Your Computer Solutions monthly service plan. Your Computer Solutions is there when you need them. Call us today at 407-826-0810. I repeat Pete, 407-826-0810. Emergency repair when you need it. Call us, 407-826-0810.